Hello children a very good morning to all so today we are back with another chapter from your english literature today we are going to do a poetry all right so we are going to start with the explanation of a poetry so the name of the poetry is little daisy what is the name the little daisy now daisy is the name of a flower all right so see this is the flower all right and we are going to learn the poem based on this flower so let's start the little white daisy open with the sun i am not lazy when there's work work to be done the bee will come to suck my honey and she doesn't pay me with any money but without her i would have no seeds and no more daisies would grow among the reeds all right this is the poem that we are going to talk about today and um, let's not waste time and let's move on to the explanation before that we are going to read the poetry once again with some pictures so are you are you ready for that all right let's start then the little white daisy opened with the sun i'm not lazy when there's work to be done the bee will come to suck my honey and she doesn't pay me with any money but without her i would have no seeds and no more daisies would grow among the reeds so children now we are going to explain the poetry line by line so let's move on to the explanation So children the poem's name is the little daisy so this is the name of a flower as i told you already so here in the first line we can see it is written the little white daisy so see in the picture this is the picture of a daisy flower and this is white daisy all right the color of the daisy is white now the next line is open with the sun what does it mean see we know that a flower needs or a plant needs what needs sunlight to grow definitely the warmth of the sunlight so here the same thing happens with daisy it is like sunflower you know sunflowers what do they do you know na they open up when they see the sun so same thing is happening out here also for the flower daisy all right now the next line is told by the flower i am not lazy this is told by the flower itself it is given in your book as quotation mark because the flower is saying it's not lazy when there is work to be done so what does it mean the flower is saying that it is not lazy when there is some work to be done okay her name might be daisy but she is not lazy all right then what is there in the next line in the next line we can see it's written the bee will come so who will come the bee will come all right you know what is a bee right it's a fly so it will come it comes to the flowers to do what it will come to do to suck my honey yes you already know this that bees come and they suck honey out of the flowers isn't it the next line and she doesn't pay me with any money yes the bee comes sucks honey from the flowers but it never pays any money to the flowers do they pay no never they never do that because that is what they are doing that is their work next line but without her so it is told but without her that means her means b so without the b what will happen let's see i would have no seeds yes why so because bees also play a very important role in the growth of the plant and also in getting many other plants see when the bee sits on the flower many a times it carries some seeds or other particles of the flowers to some other plant and drop it somewhere else so that helps in spreading the flowers so the next line is and no more daisies of course if there is no bee that means there would be no seeds and no seeds means no other daisy flowers correct would grow among the reeds what is the meaning of reeds reeds mean tall glass like structure so it will not uh, grow 
in these reeds if there is no bee there is no seeds so if there is no seed there would be no flower and if there would be no flowers so you will not find these flowers among the grasses among the trees isn't it these are beautiful flowers isn't it so children i hope you have understood the poetry and if there is anything that you want to know you can either contact me to the comment section or you can get back to me through my own personal number um i don't think there would be any problem this is a very small and very sweet poetry about a flower which is daisy and it's a very nice thing here we get to learn a lot about how the flowers grow what does a bee do what like how does a bee help a flower and every other thing isn't it so this poetry is very interesting isn't it so we loved it right all right so i guess it is a yes and that's it for today i hope that you have liked the poetry and if you have please like the video then i will get to know whether you have liked it or not also share your comments through the comment section whether you have understood it or not or whether you have any problem whatever it is please comment and tell me and also i hope you all are doing your class work homework everything right so um today again uh, we've done this and tomorrow i'll be start uh, starting to give you the notes of this poetry this is the last poem or the last chapter for your half yearly syllabus in literature after this we are going to start with some other portions of grammar and workbook and whatever books you have all right so that's it for today till then take care stay safe bye lots of love